Hello and welcome to the 2 minute series. The topic for today is bank rate. Now bank rate is the rate of interest which a central bank charges on its loans and advances to a commercial bank. In case of India, the central bank is going to be the RBI. So this is the rate of interest that RBI is charging on the loans that it is giving to commercial banks. Now if this is what is bank rate then what is repo rate? is a confusion that emerges. Now repo rate was something that was for 14 days. It was for a short duration loan. Whereas bank rate is something that is for a longer duration. So that is one basic difference. Now coming to the objective of bank rate. The objective here is to control inflation. It is a monetary policy instrument and also for signaling the interest rates. Now obviously if it, this, if the, it is the loan which the scheduled commercial banks are seeking from RBI. So based on this interest rate, the scheduled commercial banks will further give out their, uh, their own loans. And this is how it is going to impact the interest rate of these particular banks. So this is one objective of bank rate. The second objective is with regards to controlling inflation. Now, if the RBI wants to increase the liquidity in the market or in the economy, what RBI is going to do is it is going to lower the bank rate. So obviously banks are going to take more loans from RBI. They are further going to give them out as loans and the supply of money is going to increase and inflation is what is going to increase. And similarly, if RBI wants to decrease the inflation in the economy, what RBI is going to do is it is going to raise the bank rate, which will make it difficult for the scheduled commercial banks to take loans. And as a result of which money supply in the economy is going to get reduced and inflation is going to get reduced. So this is how bank rate is what is acting as a monetary policy instrument. Now, the difference from a repo rate is what is important. First is with regards to duration as I've already explained. The second very, very important difference is with regards to government securities. Now, if you remember that in the case of repo rate, the RBI was taking some government securities back. But this is not what this was in the case of repo rate. But this is something that is not happening in the case of bank rate. In the bank rate, the loan is given at a particular interest rate. And in as a result of that, as a collateral, RBI is not demanding for any government security. So that is one major difference between repo rate and bank rate. So that's all about bank rate. I thank you all for watching the video.